the first two things you need to know is I like to keep the length quite short normally between four to five inches, sometimes shorter, depending on the situation and the bait I'm putting in, but always with a soft braided hook link. You know, a lot of people I've seen putting mono in there and coated hook links, and the problem is that'll coil, um, you'll get rigidity, and it'll just look like a bag of spanners, to be honest. So Supernatural in 18 pounds or 25 pounds is my chosen braid that I like to use. So what I do, take a cap to curve out of the pack, a size four I've been using, um, certainly in the last year. After watching the underwater film, I noticed that carp weren't put off by a big hook. In fact, it helped with the hooking efficiency. Um, I saw Dan using a size four on a D-rig, a, a size four curve, and it nailed one of the smaller fish that came in the swim, and that was all the convincing that I needed. I tie a knotless knot to the captor curve. Once I've done that, what would normally form the hair has been cut off quite simply because it's just a tag end. To that, I just slide over um, a little bit of shrink tube, only about four mils worth. Um, I'm not a big shrink tube fan, I don't have lots of it, and the curve shank already has great hooking efficiency. Um, and you'll notice there's only a couple of mil protruding there once it's melted down. Once I've done that, I slide on a little ring swivel. Really like the addition of these. It was something that my mate Gaz Ferrum showed me years ago, and it's really, really served me well both in solid bags and just standard pop-up rigs. And then quite simply, just uh, put on a hook bead. You'll see loads of these on the market. Um, just pick one that doesn't slide around the shank. Um, I like these ones, they, they stay in position quite well um, and it means it can withstand a, you know, a hard cast and it'll also obviously stay fine in a solid bag so you're not putting any pressure on it. Once that's on there, note the position of it. It's sort of level with the center of the point um, not quite as far down as the point and not quite as high up as the barb. That's just so it sits, if it's on a pop-up, quite aggressively like that. Or, if you like to slide down the sinker that I've put onto this hook link, I, I use that to house the putty on the braid. But the great thing with this rig is you can either fish it as a bottom bait or a wafter like that. Okay, so quite simply I could substitute this pop-up, this mainline cell pop-up coated in goo, um, with a wafter or a bottom bait one and then just have the IB fake food on top to counterbalance it and just give it a little buoyancy um, or like this one because I've got a pop up on it will sit up beautifully like that and as to how you put the hook bait on with the ring swivel thread through a bit of floss um, and then just slide the two baits which are housed on a on a uh, braided boiling needle um, sort of sandwich the, uh, the floss into the braid needle and then just pull them on there and then just with a boilie stop, tie a few granny knots over the top of it and steam them down with a lighter and uh, they're bang on and that, that won't come undone. When you're fishing with a solid bag, you want everything to be nice and streamlined, okay? Um, often also you're fishing into weed. I love using them in weed and when I'm snag fishing. So I tend to always use a drop-off system and an inline setup. So if you have a look here, very simple to do. I've got a safe zone leader here in weed green. I've um, cut off the ring of the ring swivel that comes already spliced onto a loop. Then I thread on a tail rubber at the other end, just wet the safe zone leader and that'll slide down nicely. And if I show you what part of the swivel I crimped down to give you that drop off element, this is the part that you would normally tie your hook link to. But if you notice here, my hook link's tied to the swivel that's spliced on to the safe zone leader because this end is going to plug into the lead to form the drop off. All you do is take the, uh, the actual crimp tool um, and just, just close that down only a fraction and that makes it slightly looser to go into the plastic insert on the uh, inline pair and that'll be absolutely bang on. So it means as soon as a fish picks it up, shakes its head, you get two things. Not only does the lead come off to give you direct contact with the fish, you also, you know, you also get the sort of anti-eject property. It shakes its head, trying to use the lead almost to, to help get the, the hook out, does the opposite, it actually causes them more bother and they sort of shoot up to the surface and they're absolutely nailed. So there you go, that's the rig, something I love using in solid bags. Now let's look at the tricky part, tying a solid bag. 